You know, got a nice crispy sound. I bet it played good with the slide. I hadn't played any slide banjo in a while. See, I was gonna get some sandpaper and work on that neck, and and, and and what else was I gonna do? Oh, I don't know. I'll go do that. I started off in that direction and forgot what I went after, I guess. Alright, then this here will do the trick, I think. It ain't making it look any prettier, but it'll make it feel a lot better. That way you can see the cracks in the net. I don't mind that you can see the cracks in the net, because they're scars. It's just like people have scars, you know? That means they got a story to tell. This, this could have been dead out down, cut off, whack somebody upside the head with this thing in a barroom fight, and that could have been what caused it to get a broken neck to start with. You never know, and if that was true, well, that'd be that'd be quite the story to tell, even if you was, even if you was making the story up when you was telling it, you know. I knew this guy one time, his name was Dead Eye Dan, he's as big as a mountain, and he gave me his banjo because he'd walked a guy upside the head and broke a neck on it. Didn't that sound good, there? Did y'all ever question whether or not it was true or not? Probably not. If you have fun telling the story, a lot of times people just don't ask. Was that true? Uh, I don't know. Just the head. Mm, good stuff.